Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Today is Friday, the 19th of June, 2020. Um, I'd just like to once again highlight uh, about wearing masks. I highlighted about wearing masks uh, quite often to underline the importance that wearing masks uh, is still relevant and it's still very important for, for us in Thailand. Uh, this, this one is a fresh new mask. Uh, this one in particular is from uh, Thai, Thai Airways. And uh, with that, of course, we offer our moral support to the businesses and enterprises in Thailand that are in transition uh, towards a, uh, their role in the, a stronger post-COVID uh, economy, a stronger post-COVID era. So just to start off by quoting some parts of the Prime Minister's speech on uh, Wednesday about the situation in Thailand, the spokesperson mentioned uh, this uh, towards the end of his presentation uh, just now. I quote, it is time for change. It is a time for change. It is a time of great opportunity to improve our country and our lives. So in his speech, the Prime Minister announced uh, three new normal ways of working for the Prime Minister himself and the government in the post-COVID world to accelerate the development in Thailand. And uh, you see an English language slide on screen, courtesy of the Public Relations Department. The first is greater direct involvement of all sectors in building a better Thailand. He'll be inviting representatives from all sectors to present recommendations to accelerate progress under a program called Ties Together Build Thailand. And he believes that in mobilizing a wider pool of talent in Thailand to help in the nation's development and in taking direct input from people who live in the realities uh, of their respective sec sectors. The second uh, new normal is that to make it easier for stakeholders to feedback, to provide feedback to the highest levels of government for better efficiency of projects and the, any need for any uh, adjustment or improvement. The third new normal, in the words of the Prime Minister, is that he will take very close interest in the select number of projects that are of the utmost priority for citizens and champion them for the quick and effective implementation. He also reiterated that everyone in the world is adjusting the way that they work as a result of COVID and that the government must do so as well. So moving on to the number of infected cases, of course, uh, for yesterday, we did not uh, have an English language summary. Yesterday, there were six more new infections. All of them were imported cases from repatriation flights and directly put under the state quarantine system as is compulsory. Five of them repatriated from Saudi Arabia and one from India. On the general situation, the numbers that we have as presented to you by the spokesperson on the slides just now as well is for today we have five new confirmed cases making the cumulative number in Thailand 3,146. Out of that number, 3,008 have recovered uh, or been discharged, that's 95% and zero fatalities. As for some important uh, observations, first is that it's now the 24th days without any domestic infection. It's been 24 days with zero infections domestically. Uh, in the past 24 days, all have been uh, from imported cases. The cases that we have for today, five cases, all were imported cases, uh, Thai students, returning from repatriation flights from Saudi Arabia. All of them, however, were asymptomatic when they arrived in Thailand on the 12th of June and were found to be uh, infected with COVID on the 16th of June. Another piece of information that the spokesperson presented was about the quarantines. Uh, firstly, the number of local quarantines uh, around the country in various provinces are being increased. Uh, according to the set criteria, or, or, and some venues are being converted into becoming uh, local quarantines in order to cater to the increasing uh, number of uh, people to be uh, placed into the quarantine system. Another number is that uh, in com in, as a combination, the state quarantine and local quarantine, we have a cumulative number of uh, persons who have entered that system totaling over 42,000, uh, and around 32,000 went home after 14 days, remaining which is around 10,000. So another piece of information is about 
Taichana, as you recall, we talk about the Taichana application uh, every day. And there is an evaluation uh, field uh, in the Taichana application. And the uh, people who have visited this business establishments, and when they check out, they are able to evaluate uh, those establishments. The top evaluators, I would say, um, are uh, people in Patum Thani province, uh, Nakhon Patum province, and in Bangkok. So in these three provinces, we have seen the highest number of uh, people evaluating business establishments after they uh, check out from the uh, various venues, restaurants, or shopping malls. So we encourage you to continue uh, doing that. On the issue of uh, Thai uh, embassy uh, activities, uh, we mentioned uh, on Wednesday about the assistance that the embassy in Riyadh and uh, Cairo have provided to Thai nationals who were infected with uh, COVID. Uh, aside from organizing video conferencing uh, and uh, taking care of the Thai citizens in those two countries, the spokesperson had touched on this uh, as well. The, we have some images for you uh, coming up on screen. First is the Royal Thai Embassy in Riyadh, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, delivering, delivering care packages for daily use uh, and medical supplies to Thai students at Imam Muhammad University and King Saud University as the students were awaiting for the repatriation flights. Well, another image coming up on the 16th of June, the Royal Thai Embassy in Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan, also delivered uh, medical supplies and packages to 49 uh, Thai nationals residing in Nur Sultan and 51 other Thai nationals residing uh, around uh, the country, including in cities in Kazakhstan, such as uh, Pavlodar, Aktau, Aktobe, and Kol so while the embassies uh, continue to provide assistance to Thai nationals overseas, we are also thankful for the cooperation received uh, from various relevant uh, countries and various relevant agencies in assisting us to facilitate the repatriation of our citizens during the lockdown uh, in the past few months. Of course, COVID uh, reaffirms that the threats are very transboundary. It requires coordination, uh, integration, management from a regional outlook as well. Of course, no single country is capable of resolving or mitigating the impacts of the threats alone. And our, our focus currently is on mitigating the economic impacts as well from the measures, from the lockdown measures to curb the pandemic. So in the presentation of the spokesperson, he received some uh, questions uh, addressed directly to, to him. The first uh, is about the cases in uh, Egypt and Sudan, uh, which was uh, reflected in the uh, news, as well about the Thai students who were uh, in Egypt and Sudan. Uh, 20, 38 uh, Thai students uh, in Egypt, um, and they, are, uh, they have been taken care of by the uh, embassy uh, uh, there. Uh, the spokesperson mentioned about the uh, uh, COVID being um, kind of, uh, there is no, there's no vaccine actually uh, for COVID as, as of the moment. So therefore the cure has to be according to the symptoms. So therefore certain uh, medicines such as uh, paracetamol or other medicines uh, were given to these students according to their uh, symptoms. And of course, as mentioned, they have been coordinating with the students uh, via teleconference. In Sudan as well, there's preparation for the testing before the flights uh, that are prepared already, there are incoming repatriation of flights coming in. Um, so the students there are being, the, the needs are being addressed. The other question received, uh, uh, addressed directly to the spokesperson was about the tra uh, travel bubble. So he stressed that uh, for the word of it, it's, 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 the word is, is travel bubble. Uh, it's not a tourism bubble, so therefore the focus is on, on travel, so not, not mainly or only on, on, on tourism. So therefore those, uh, when, when, this schemes, uh, when, when this scheme is crystallized and begins, it would uh, involve those traveling for economic purposes as well. So it would not only be for, for tourism. And of course, uh, that is still being uh, discussed, and you've probably seen in the news as well that some other countries around, around the, the region have also been discussing about the travel bubble, which would include uh, citizens from Thailand and other countries, uh, particularly in, in, in Asia. 
Another uh, inquiry received on social media is about the requirements uh, for foreign citizens uh, who request to enter Thailand. As we will consider the request on a case-by-case -case basis, we've mentioned this on Wednesday and on Monday, the requirements include the copy of passports, the documents that prove uh, status, uh, either work permit holders or marriage status, the COVID-free uh, health certificate, the fit-to-fly health certificate, health insurance, the uh, ticket uh, flight uh, details, the alternative state quarantine booking, of course, because uh, the uh, quarantine is compulsory for foreign citizens when they arrive in Thailand, and the declaration of a uh, form for consent, uh, giving consent to be quarantined for 14 days. So uh, this was... Uh, conveyed, all of these were conveyed uh, to the uh, Thai embassies uh, around the world already. So therefore, you know, for foreign nationals, if you hold a work permit and if you are a spouse of a Thai national, please contact the Thai uh, embassy uh, in your area and they will re be receiving that uh, request uh, on a case-by-case -case basis and informing headquarters uh, to seek for approval and uh, consideration. Um, of course, as mentioned, once again, it's a case-by-case. Case. Uh, for other urgent, emergency, humanitarian uh, reasons uh, in, in, in wanting to, in requesting to return to Thailand uh, during this time, uh, of course, that uh, can be filed as well with the Thai embassies uh, around the world. So uh, to conclude, I wish to once again remind that we should take the crisis as an opportunity for all of us to adjust ourselves to the new, new normal. The Prime Minister, as mentioned by the spokesperson, and I also recapped that in the beginning uh, of this presentation, new normal behavior uh, we have on screen for you, five plus one, wearing masks, washing hands, always keeping hygiene, if you can, standing apart, and staying uh, in, uh, avoiding less, less congested areas. And of, of course, not to forget to use the Tai Chinat platform. These new normal behaviors will not only lead us uh, out, totally out of the COVID crisis, but also lead all of us to a healthier society uh, after the crisis, post-COVID. And of course, every single person, Thai nationals, foreign nationals in Thailand, those who call Thailand home, can take part, can be an important part and parcel in help to keep and guide uh, our society towards a better future together. So after I say goodbye, I'll put on my mask, of course, before I leave here at the CCSA press conference. Hope that you would be staying safe and have a very great weekend. For the English language summary, we'll see you again on Monday. Thank you for your attention and Sodikap.